A stark new snapshot of Canada's housing crisis tonight shows the number of new homes being built went down last year. And there's concern governments are moving too slowly to address the dire shortage for a growing population. Here's CTV's Chris Najkate. As Canada's population grows rapidly, Ottawa says it has been trying to catch up to the housing demand. We know that people are worried that the promise of Canada doesn't hold the way it used to. The Prime Minister was in St. John, New Brunswick today announcing $9.1 million for the construction of 285 homes over the next three years. Housing is considered by your federal government as a right. So this, this demonstrates that I guess you put your money where your mouth is. The money is part of Ottawa's $4 billion housing accelerator fund aimed at helping municipalities change bylaws and regulations to increase construction. A new report by Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation says housing starts were down by 7% across the country in 2023 compared to the previous year. We need to build uh, one new home for every two new adults. And Canada's adding over a million adults uh, this year to our population. So that should be about a half million homes or so that we should be building. And this year we're not even going to crack 300,000. Only the Greater Toronto Area and Vancouver saw a 5 and 28 percent increase, mostly driven by new condo units. Experts point to higher interest rates and a weak economy for the drop, with the risk at times too high for home builders. Having them sit there, even for a number of months, is more than many of them can handle. So public policy needs to take some of that risk off the private sector. More federal announcements are on the way, but economists say no matter what governments do this year, it still won't be enough to address the country's housing shortage. Chris Nachkate, CTV News, Halifax.